Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today I've got some MC Edit tips I want to show you. A couple new MC Edit filters and, like I said, just some tips. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is this cool jump pad here that lets you jump onto a really high surface and that uses a splash potion spawner. Uh, I also want to show you a, uh, a filter that will turn your dispensers into droppers because according to a recent tweet by Dinnerbone, uh, dispensers are going to be taking on new functionality, so droppers are going to be what you're going to want to use for all of your dropping needs. And there's a lot of uh, custom maps out there that use dropper, or sorry, use dispensers to drop items. And so I want to make sure that those don't break. So I'm going to give give that tool to the map makers out there who have maps with dispensers in them. And then the last filter I, I want to show you is another one that I used in the uh, in the Supercraft Brothers map that, that uh, made the bottom edges of the floating islands look really good. So let me get to it. This is really fun to do. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do first, uh, this is a splash potion of Jump Boost 10. So I'm going to grab myself a splash potion from the creative menu and I'm going to put it right into this chest and we're going to head over to MC Edit and use a filter. All right, so over here in MC Edit, we can see this is the chest that contains, it says mostly water bottle in it, but it means the splash potion. We're going to select that, go over to filters. Uh, I'm going to select my modify potions filter. And uh, so we want jump boost 10. So let me find jump boost, the last one. Jump boost level 10. And the duration has to be at least two seconds. I found that if you have it at one second, it doesn't work. The, the potion actually just doesn't work, which is, I don't know if it's a bug or what, but anyway, so we'll hit filter. That'll make the potion a level 10 jump boost splash potion. Okay, I'm going to save this, head back to Minecraft. And now if I look inside the chest, we'll see we have this splash potion of leaping, jump boost, potion.potency9, and it's got a duration of two seconds. So uh, now I need to throw this into the air. And when it's down, coming down from its arc, I'm going to press escape. I'm actually going to exit and head back into MC Edit. All right, back in MC Edit, we can see this is the Splash Potion entity. We can see my player looking at it and everything. Uh, I'm going to select a region that encompasses that Splash Potion. Uh, just make sure it encompasses it. It can be too big. That's fine. Go to Filters. I'm going to create a... Sp so I'm going to use the Create Spawners filter. And I love that in MC Edit 0.1.6, this list is finally alphabetized. Makes it so much easier to find uh, to find the filters. Anyway, sorry, create fil create spawners. I'm going to actually before I do this, I need to move that uh, the entity down a little bit. So let me uh, get up here. I think if I clone and nudge it down, yeah. So I'm going to move it actually like into the ground, just at the just above the ground level, and clone it there. And then I'm going to uh, get rid of the entity up here by using the delete entities button. Okay, so now the splash potion is down at ground level. I'm going to select it and create that spawner. There we go, there's the spawner. Now I'm going to select the spawner and I'm going to go down to uh, my, what is it called? Uh, chain, chain spawner properties, I think. Uh, set spawner properties. Oh, is it not here? No, chain spawner properties. There we are. Uh, so spawn delay, min spawn de delay is going to be one tick, max is going to be two, uh, current I'll set it to one, spawn count one, entity cap, doesn't matter, 100, uh, detection range, we want this to be short, so one, actually I'm going to set it to two, and I'm going to move this, um, this spawner down by one, and then spawn radius doesn't matter. Okay, so we filter that, I'm going to just nudge this spawner down by one so it's buried in the ground, we won't be able to see it from ground level. And this should actually be done. So I'm going to go ahead and save and go back to Minecraft. All right, so we're back in Minecraft. Uh, so here's a spawner. If I get close, you can see it starts to spawn that jump boost potion. And we get that jump boost effect. Um, I can cover it up. And it'll still work, I think. Yeah, so as we, as we run over it, we get that jump boost effect. It only lasts two seconds, but it's enough. Anyway, so that's kind of a cool jump pad for... Um, I don't know, creating castle walls or something you want to be able to jump onto from one side. There's lots of uses. You could use a higher jump boost uh, level in order to get the player to jump higher. It's a really cool effect and uh, and very useful. Okay, so that's it for that's the jump boost uh, jump pad. 
I think it's pretty cool. Um, next, I want to show you just the filter to turn the droppers into, sorry, dispensers into droppers. And at the same time, I'm going to show you how to uh, run my filter for uh, the, the um, sort of making floating islands look like they really were ripped out of the ground. So let's go back to MC Edit. All right, here we are in MC Edit. Um, so it's really simple to turn these dispensers into droppers. Just filter. Uh, run the dispensers to droppers filter. You can download that. Uh, there's a link in the video description. Hit filter and it does it. So that's done. And then, so that's all there is to that. Very simple. Uh, you can select a large region. It'll only change the droppers. Won't affect anything else. Um, and then I want to show you. Let's see. Let me find an area with something. So I'm gonna rip. I'm gonna rip this out of the ground right here. Um, I'm gonna select it. Oops. Select a big region here. And I'm going to nudge that up and out of the ground, make it a floating island. There we go. And after a second, it should stop lagging. There we go. All right. So now I've got my floating island here, but I, the bottom is just flat. It doesn't look like it was ripped out of the ground. So I'm going to increase the selection here. Go over to filter, and I'm going to run the floating island filter right here. Uh, randomness is a parameter you can give it that'll kind of set how how random the uh, it looks on the bottom. Uh, two is pretty good. One is a little bit less random. Three is a little bit more random. Um, so you, oh, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, hold on, let me mute my Skype. I, I always forget to do that for some reason. Oh, whoops. Um, yeah, so you, the bottom of whatever you're, of whatever floating island you're making has to be flat or, or this filter won't really work. It only works on the, on flat surfaces on the bottom. Of a floating island. Anyway, hit filter, and it'll make the uh, the randomness or the random uh, kind of danglings. Although it does seem to be going. Oh, there we go. It took a long time for some reason. Anyway, so I'm gonna head back to Minecraft so we can look at it in there. All right. So first thing we notice is these dispensers still are are are, are now droppers. Um, they'll all, they'll keep their orientation. They'll keep any items that are in them. Everything about them will stay the same except. They'll just turn from dispensers into droppers. Very convenient. It's really easy to do that because the only difference between dispensers and droppers is just the uh, entity ID and their block block uh, block ID. So it's really easy to use. Uh, and then here's that floating island. We can see it still has all the stuff on top of it. And then underneath, it kind of looks like it was ripped out of the ground. It's got this nice little effect here. So this is really nice if you want to make your own floating islands. Uh, you can have them be more round. But yeah, it is important that the bottom of your island is flat. So if it's not flat already, you'll, you'll want to truncate it and make it flat before you run my filter on it. But yeah, it's basically designed for my Craft Brothers map to make it really, really easy for me to just uh, rip up an area like a village or whatever and then make it uh, rough on the bottom. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show today. Uh, three different kind of tips in MC Edit. Uh, there's two new filters that up for download. There's the floating island filter and there's the dispensers to droppers uh, filter. So check, it, check the links for those in the video description. Yeah, thanks for watching.